Hi scholars, let's look at take 4.8c. It says I can solve problems that deal with measurements of length, intervals of time, liquid volumes, mass, and money using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division as appropriate. So in this one I'm going to talk about measurements of liquid volumes and that's going to be liter and milliliter only. So let's get started. So if you've seen my other videos, um, I talked about kilometer, meter, kilometer, meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. So I'm pretty sure that they have the same for the metric uh, system for um, liquid volumes. So like there would be kiloliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, milliliter. I'm only going to focus on liter and milliliter right now. So here is a good example of a liter. This um, Dozeny water bottle is exactly one liter or 33.8 fluid ounces but you know this is what helps me remember that how much a liter is. This is like that bottle that you can buy um, probably I don't know if in like in the vending machine because this is a little bit bigger than your average that you get from the vending machine maybe like in those little fridges that you open and take it out and then take it to the front maybe that that's where you see it but this is one liter and then I want to talk about um, a milliliter now a milliliter is very very tiny basically the amount of water that fits in this drop so if I press this dropper and I pick up water that's about how much a milliliter is. Some of those droppers, there's another dropper that like my students use in the science lab, like it goes one, two, three. So when you get to that third one, that's a milliliter. So look at liter and milliliter. In the middle, I'm sure there's a deciliter and centiliter. You know, very rarely is that, I don't ever hear that. I always hear of liter and milliliter. So again, this is uh, why scientists use the metric system because when you're measuring things in a science experiment and you go by lead milliliters, you can really get down to the detail. Whereas in the customary unit system, we have um, fluid ounces. Well, that's a medicine cup. That's still really big. You can't really measure a significance difference between fluid ounces, but you can through milliliters. Okay, so... Um, Another fact that um, I want you to know is that 1,000 of these equals one of these. Let me write that down for you. So 1,000 milliliters, 1,000 of these equals one of these. So that's basically it for a metric unit of liquid volumes. Um, if you want to learn more on how to convert, watch my convert measurements. Watch my video on 4.8b, Teague 4.8b, that talks about converting measurements within the same measurement system, customary or metric.